What's happening, world? B Marsh Boxing back at it with another boxing video. So, former super middleweight champion from the United Kingdom, from Nottingham, Carl the Cobra Frotch, pundit over there on um, uh, uh, Sky Sports, you know what I mean? That's Sky Sports commentary on Sky Sports Boxing in the UK. Well, you know, he has some um, interesting things to say about a matchup between for Undisputed, as of right now, it would be for Undisputed between Anthony Joshua, WBA, IBF, and WBO title holder versus um, Tyson Fury, WBC champ, and lineal champion. I mean, so Anthony Joshua and um, Tyson Fury would be a massive fight, probably the biggest fight in United Kingdom history and British boxing history, you know what I mean? But um, I think right now the best thing for them to do is to let Deontay Wilder and Tyson Fury get their matchup on. We'll see how COVID turns out. And maybe they could have a big uh, domestic fight for Undisputed if Tyson Fury goes ahead and beats the man Deontay Wilder. You know what I mean? I think that's the best thing for boxing right now as far as, you know, settling the score between two old rivals and then go into the 2021 with a brand new undisputed fight on the horizon. You know what I mean? So the man, um, Carl Frotch, has some interesting things to say about uh, the, on the only way that Anthony Joshua can beat Tyson Fury is if he could if he stops him or knocks him out. Otherwise he cannot outbox the man on uh, Tyson Fury. You know what I mean? So I'm gonna read some quotes for what Carl Frosch said. Um Carl Frosch said, quote, I think the only way that Anthony Joshua can win this fight is by stoppage. He can't outbox Fury who is too good at range. He throws punches from all angles, and he's so awkward. But Joshua is an Olympic gold medalist with strong fundamentals, and he's got combination punches with real aggression. If he produces the same finishing instinct that he's shown in the past, then it, that he's shown in past fights, then he can beat Fury. AJ can get him out of there. I think he can, I think he can because, you know, because you saw bursts of the aggression in the Cool Bread Pula fight. If AJ maintains that, there's a chance he could stop him. But the problem is, if he doesn't stop Fury, then he's going to lose on points. End quote. Matthew Macklin, former um, super, what was he, a super welterweight, um, super welterweight contender and middleweight contender. He also had some uh, his thoughts on, on this particular fight, you know what I mean? And he's also, I guess, on the same accord with the man Tyson Fury. He says, quote, I think Fury wins on points. I don't believe he, he will attempt the same aggressive tactics that he showed against Wilder. AJ is a much better fighter than Wilder. He maybe doesn't hit quite as hard with one punch, but he still hits hard enough. He will look to outbox AJ rather than do what he did against Wilder in the second fight. AJ is a good boxer. He showed that in the rematch win over Andy Ruiz. But Fury is a top, top boxer. He's got an excellent jab, got better angles. His movements, his movement is excellent. I think he'll outbox him, end quote. So these are two guys who give their commentary on Sky Sports, you know what I mean? These are in-house fighters, in-house um, pundits for Sky Sports Boxing, and that's where the man Anthony Joshua fights on Sky Sports, not BT, you know? So I got to give Matthew Macklin and Carl Froch a round of applause for not being biased by just saying because the, the Anthony Joshua's on Sky Sports just like they are, you would think that they'd just be biased and just go ahead and say Anthony Joshua beats Tyson Fury any which way, outboxes him, knocks him out. However he wants it, he can get it. They're actually being honest, and I believe that's what might happen in that fight, you know? It's a boxing fight. Anything could happen. But if I had to put my money on it as well, I'd put my money on Tyson Fury outboxing him. I don't think there's anybody in the, in the heavyweight division who could outbox the man Tyson Fury. He's proved it on the world on the world stage on big events, whether it, whether it was in Dusseldorf, Germany in the end of November of 2015, or whether it was against Deontay Wilder in... Uh, the second fight over there in uh where was it in in Las Vegas in um 
was it February or end of January of 2021? Early, tw I'm sorry, early 2020, you know what I mean? I think he got the skills to pay the bills. Anthony Joshua's a good boxer as well, you know what I mean? Got good combination punches, you know what I'm saying? Got a nice uppercut. That's his, one of his bread and butters. Very good to the body, you know what I'm saying? Yo, and he's um a bigger, heavier-handed puncher than the man Tyson Fury. But, you know, this is boxing. This isn't um the, the name of the sport's boxing, not knockout. And if Tyson Fury, I'm sorry, Anthony Joshua can't get the knockout or even put um, severely hurt the man Tyson Fury, then more than likely Tyson Fury will win a wide unanimous decision. You know what I mean? Something like what he did to Klitschko, something like what he did against Deontay Wilder in the second fight. You know what I'm saying? So time will tell. Maybe Anthony Joshua might have to come with a different game plan, not try to outbox the master boxer, but be aggressive and try to be on the front foot and put the man Tyson Fury under immense pressure. Time will tell. We shall see. You know what I mean? There's only one fight standing in the way of Undisputed. That's Tyson Fury and Deontay Wilder. They need to go ahead and get that out the way so we could see an Undisputed fight. We haven't had an Undisputed champion since Lennox Lewis. And the last time we've even had a heavyweight champ holding Undisputed titles was um, the year 2000. You know what I mean? When Lennox Lewis did have three straps, IBF, WBC, and WBA. You know what I mean? So time will tell. I'm looking forward to seeing what the future holds for boxing, heavyweight division, Tyson Fury, Deontay Wilder, everybody, Anthony Joshua in the, in the, um, for 2021. And hopefully we can settle the score and have an undisputed champion before 2021 ends. Be Marsh Boxing, leave your thoughts and comments. Let me know what y'all thought about Matthew Macklin and Carl Froch, um thoughts on um, a Tyson Fury versus um, Anthony Joshua fight. If you're new to the channel, please share and subscribe, and I'm going to catch you on the next one. I'm gone. Peace.